Welcome to another Realvolve training video. In this segment, we will cover setting up and running seller reports. During this process, we will cover setting up the template to be emailed, setting up a workflow to remind us to enter information, as well as starting the workflow. First, let's go over the template that we need. To create a new template, simply click on the New Template and Author a New Template, and then click on Continue. Now, I've already got this, so I'm going to click on Weekly Seller Report. What we need to do is put in the title. The use with will be with property. I've decided to put in a seller report tag so that it can be found easily later. We are sending this as an email. The next thing is to put in the subject, your weekly status update, and then typing in the message you wish to send. In this case, we're using merge fields for the current date, the seller's first name, the property street address, as well as a special merge field that is used to send only those messages that have not been sent. Sell report, non-sent only. Once you've typed in all your information, scroll down to the bottom and click on Save. Now let's go to the workflows. I've created a new workflow called Weekly Seller Report Updates. Again, I've selected that this will be used with property and put in a brief description of what this does. Once again, I've put in a tag of seller report so that I can search it later. And I have two activities defined to this workflow. The what did I do for you today? If we edit this item, you'll see the title, who is assigned to do this activity, setting up the schedule time. I've set it up for zero days after the start date as being the computed date on this, and a starting and ending time of 2 to 3 o'clock. Yet again, I put in another tag for seller report. And at the bottom of the checklist, you'll see that I'm using a special merge field called seller report. This will allow me to type in for a checklist item the seller report comment. I've set a color for red, and I've set the frequency to be every Monday through Friday. In this case, I've also set it up to only occur 20 times. Once I have everything the way that I want, I click on the update button. Now let's go to the send the weekly report. This is set up similarly. In this particular case, we've put in the title, who does the action, as well as who am I going to send this action to. Since I'm sending an email, I need to know who am I going to send it to. In this case, I'm sending it to the seller as a party member. So whoever is in the seller field of my property will receive this email. I've set it up again for the win being from 6 to 7 o'clock. On the repeat, I've set it up for every Friday for 20 occurrences. The last item on this is the action. I've set up an action that is simply called Send Seller Report. The action itself is to send an email message and I've chosen my weekly seller report which is the template that I had set up previously and I can click on save. Once I've made all the changes that I want click on update. With the workflows and templates put together we can add this workflow to any property that we have a new listing on. Here we have a new property. To start the workflow click on start a workflow. Choose the workflow in this case weekly seller report updates click on next there are just two activities but they are repeating activities we click on next and the start date in this case we want to choose any starting date that starts on a Monday since each of our activities start on Monday through Friday click on next there is an activity that we send an email and it needs to know who we're going to send it to in this case the seller We've already pre-assigned the seller, so it fills that in. If the seller is not shown, make sure that you select a name. Then click on Done. At this point, each day that the activity comes up on your calendar, simply click on the item to mark it off as being done. You'll see that there is a place for the seller report. This is where we had set up the special field to accept information. You can place a check mark in the items that have been completed and click on Close you'll notice that this completes this activity. From the Seller Report tab, you can see all comments that were added either by an activity or by manual entry using the plus sign. Here you can select the type of message, the date, 
and the message to the seller. Once everything is entered, click on Save. When the Send Weekly Seller Report comes due, simply go to Complete It, choose Send Seller Report, and then click on Run. You can send the message immediately or edit the message to see what it contains. Click on the preview to preview any message that you're getting ready to send. You'll see that each of the entries from the seller report are in the message. Click on send message to send it. The activity is now marked as completed. Here's the email that was sent. As you can see, the email contains the seller report messages. In the next email that is sent to the contact, only those messages that were not previously sent will show. 